Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to practice building those three-digit numbers. Sometimes, though, I might give you a one-digit or a two-digit number. Let's see how you do. One of the features that I really like of the program is how the lesson is laid out for the week. The teacher has uh, knowledge of the problem for the beginning of the week. Then uh, there is uh, a modeled and guided instruction piece. And after that, the kids are working independently on uh, the focus for the week. The, the, also, the beauty of this program is the end of the week, there is a, an opportunity for reteaching. Me and my partner talked about um, you didn't have to take it hundreds away or ones. So all you had to do is just take away all your tens. And what I love about the program is that it always starts out with a question or a problem that they have to use their prior knowledge and go through the problem solving with their prior knowledge. And then after that, the teacher teaches a strategy to solve the problem, a strategy or two. I added six one hundreds, I added nine, ten. We are now more discourse rich in our um, teaching. When I talk about discourse, what I'm talking about is students participating in uh, conversation and disagreement about a specific problem. I had to get five tens. So kids are constantly working together, figuring out those problems, and helping each other. And then I also want you to show which way you prefer. This year I'm working half-time as a middle school math teacher and half-time as an instructional coach for the district. Um, and one thing that's been really useful for me as I've been working with teachers at different grade levels with students with a lot of different needs um, is the eye diagnostic tool. The eye diagnostic tool is really pretty awesome. Um, students take a diagnostic test and I get a report back that shows their level of achievement relative to the grade level standards and I get that for every single student. Um, the report also breaks it down into the different domain areas, like, like geometry, for example. Um, and so I can tell if students have strengths in certain areas or, and weaknesses in other areas um, so that I can differentiate my instruction to meet th the needs that the different students have. But what happens with that one? Because that's kind of awkward. It's still hanging out there. Um, when I talk about modeling in a math classroom, I'm talking about using strategies to explain how you got an answer or how you thought about a problem. Um, so often modeling invo involves some sort of graphic, maybe it's something like a bar model or a number line, or even a picture of what's happening in a given story problem. I've noticed a clear increase in the use of modeling with my students. Um, they know that I expect them to use these models all the time, and so it's becoming a more natural thing for them to do as they solve math problems. You could split it in half and make two trapezoids. So now we have a height of four. The main word I'd use to describe the new Big Ideas Math would be technology. The most useful things would be the, um, the online book, which kids can access for free. Also, uh, the apps that kids can have on any mobile device, which would be video tutorials, kind of explaining how to do this stuff, as well as worked out uh, solutions to all the odd problems. I tell parents all the time, like, check your kids' work. Don't just check the answers. Check the work. Download the app, and you can check all the odds for them because parents want to get involved, but oftentimes they don't really know exactly what we're doing or how, how we want them doing it, and now they have that opportunity. 0.5 times 32 in parentheses, area would equal 16. Now we might give the students some tools and some skills and say, OK, here's this more dynamic question, a level four thinking question. How are you going to, again, use your knowledge, use the skills we've provided you. How are you going to answer this? Taking what you've learned, using it in a higher level real world problem.